So I'm about to meet some body artists who do piercings, tattoos, and henna. So I'm excited but a bit nervous because today I'm getting a tattoo. Though this will be the second time I'm getting a tattoo on air. So without further ado, let's go. Body art is an important part of African tradition, but it's often seen as a contemporary taboo. From the permanent art of tattooing to the temporary art of Hina, acclaimed body artists Moha and Anissa are growing icons in East Africa, successfully proving these art forms are beautiful, symbolic, and respected expressions of culture. I am so happy to be here today, guys. You guys are going to be doing the Hina thing. Yeah. yeah. Super happy to meet you all. Hello. Anissa and Moha, yeah. nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. You know, I am a bit anxious because um, I have tattoos, yes, but the last time I got a tattoo was in 2011. So it's been years. I've forgotten the process, the pain, everything, but um, you'll just tell me what we're supposed yeah, well, to do. You won't feel that much pain, you know? All right, okay. So, so mm -hmm. I'm going to start with placing the stencil mm -hmm. where you want it to be. All right, I just want it to be right here. Cool. Underneath my collar. Right there. Okay. <laughs> Oh my god, I look so classy already. I'm gonna make you all jealous of my tattoo. So, um, a light right here. So yeah. Okay. You can lay down. Okay. And Let we can start. That. Anissa, how's it going there? It's going pretty good. Hello, what are you getting on your hand? I told her to freestyle it. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'm excited. So, Moha, yeah. how long have you been doing this? Uh, seven years. Okay. Yeah. Why did you choose tattoo as the art that you know you'd want to do? Well, as an artist, yeah. tattoos is more like human canvas, so okay. it's permanent, you know, compared to like doing on a uh, on usual canvas uh -huh. and hanging in a gallery that you work with forever, you know? Yeah. So that's why I actually go into tattooing. So you know like when someone is walking, you know that you created a prolific moment yeah, something for that them. Yeah, something to them, you know? Yeah. Because nobody just gets a tattoo. It's you know? true, but, but what about people who come and don't know what they want, so they just go like, draw anything on me and it's going to be permanent. What do you do with those people? I'm personally picky with my class as well. I like doing tattoos that are like, I'm meeting. Oh, okay. They're just doing anything. Oh, okay. So whenever somebody comes in, they don't have any clue. I try to like, mm -hmm. figure out like, your interests and stuff like that. Uh, so okay. that way you can actually end up getting something that you like. But you just... ha have you ever like, turned someone away? Yeah. Some people come up with weird designs, man. <laughs> Disrespectful, stuff like that, you know? I'm trying not to laugh, because that's funny. <laughs> yeah, people do. <laughs> <laughs> like what? One guy uh, wanted me to do, like, uh, a god on shrooms eating his pubes. And he is the, oh, you know, like, that's a weird shit. <laughs> Why would someone want that? Yeah. <laughs> and Anissa, I know that mm. people would want them in very special places. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like on your butt or like, you know, stuff like that. <laughs> I so, haven't gone that far. To okay. Be honest, but <laughs> but I've, I've done a tramp stamp, I guess. A kind of. A kind of one? Yeah. Okay. So, where did you love from this start? As a child, to be honest. I, I didn't go back into henna till 2018. Yeah. I got henna done and I didn't like it. Yeah. And so I told myself, why, can't, why shouldn't I just try and like, do it myself, you know? I didn't actually intend to get it to where I am today. It was just like a hobby, kind of. But you can say it makes you good money, because house call, like, oh, you yeah. got everyone oh, coming yeah, it through. Does. How did your parents react when you told them you wanted to be a tattoo artist? Well, I didn't really have that conversation with them. I was just doing it by myself. <laughs> okay. I've, only been, like, I've always been independent, doing my own thing. So then later on, like, when they saw it picked up, Everybody was like supportive about it, about it you know? Oh, so you can just say you had supportive parents, like, yeah. that's cool. Yeah, you know, the first time when I got my, the first tattoo on air, um, I went home and I told my dad that I got the tattoo. And he's like, why? <laughs> Where? And I told him on my back. And he's like, you know what? It's okay. He quickly snapped out of it after five minutes. And you know, um, where I come from in Taita, there uh, women like my grandma had this decoration if I say face decoration Fisher. in the face yes Scarification. and y yes oh, yeah. her, her whole face and that was really beauty so you said I knew your grandma had these things going on so I think you're just doing the same thing yeah the irony yeah. is like that generation of parents yeah. 
That grand parents probably had a lot of that shit. But people are so brainwashed, like they think it's a foreign thing. Yeah. You know? Yeah, people have been yeah. doing it in Africa yeah. since back then. And I'm sure your parents didn't have, um, you know, Oh, they the did. Oh, they, wow. <laughs> yeah. And it's Hina. No, because um, I actually, I have my degree in economics and statistics, so okay. I'm not doing that for now. <laughs> so there's yeah, that, this is yeah. Like fun. <laughs> yeah. I, so then they supported you, or how did they go about it? It took a it? long time, I'm gonna say, because my mom was not for it. She's like, no, you have to study, you know, school, and I was just like, but this is what I want to do. You know, I, I really like this, and so yeah, I guess. But now they're more like they see um, I'm kind of better like online, so they're like, oh, okay, so you're not this, you know, just upcoming person. So yeah. I guess yeah. What's your end game? Your vision? for all this now? On the tattooing? Yeah, on the yeah, tattooing and yeah. Well, being a tattoo artist in Africa is like, there's way less like resources when you think about like the culture itself. Mm -hmm. There's a long way to go. Mm -hmm. So I would wanna like be part of the growth in different aspects, mostly like material. You know, like all the stuff that we use, there's yeah. no in Africa that they make any, mm -hmm. any tattoo products. So I would want to like get into that aspect of the industry. Okay. Yeah. So, so. so um, you're done? Yep. Okay. It's a wrap. You want to see it? Yeah, I do. Overlook. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. This is good. This is good. I love it. <laughs> I'm happy. So what type of, um, you know, Hina is that? What, this is more, where is it from? Moroccan. Moroccan, yeah. Hina and body art. So we're yeah, good. Thank, thank you. you. Happy. Let me go flaunt my tattoo <laughs> somewhere else.